I start? Just where do I start? Most people will say from the beginning. We all have had a loss. It's how we deal with that loss that makes the difference. The pain you bear, the memories, the wanting to pick up the phone and text or call like you always did, the knowing that that person's not going to pick up. When that pain is so profound that you feel like you can't breathe, that you can't go on, and you just wonder just what happened? And why did they go? They're no longer there to give you advice. No longer there to, to step in, fill that void of darkness and bring you light. Each day you think, oh, it's going to get better. It's, it's going to get better. You know, you, you, you have to move on. Life goes on. You can tell yourself all of these things, but somewhere, some time, some minute, in the middle of the night, the day, the morning, you still want to reach out. Because in your world, they truly were all you had. You want to honor them and you think, well, if I live my life and I live my life well to the best of my ability, I will honor them. And yet you feel like you never, never will live up to honoring them in the way that they were there for you, no matter what you did, no matter what you said, no matter where you were. Never forgot a birthday, never forgot a holiday. And it was the last day there was truth. There was truth. What do I do now? Reaching out even to those that were important to her in her life can't fill the void. Reaching out to those who were too self-centered to share the pain, share the loss. So once again, it just makes me feel like, you know, I'm on this journey of loss by myself. There's no captain at the helm. There's no crew people. It's just me on this ship of loneliness and loss with no lighthouse in the distance to guide me home safely. You know, I could call at any time, and even if I just got a voicemail, there was comfort in that because of the voice. I could send a text, and maybe it might be a while for it to be answered, or it might get answered right away. But the comfort of knowing that she was there. 
she was always there. We always say that people are taken from us too soon, and I don't believe people really grasp that fact until that happens to you. You know, I'm saying here in the darkness with this light just digging up memory after memory, remembering. And sometimes, you know, I can giggle at something that was said. But I want to call. be told, you know what, you're wrong, man, you're wrong, you're wrong about that. You know, then I want to be told too that, hey, you know what, I agree with you. You want to make a poor choice when I call. I want to hear that voice that says, you know, that wasn't a good idea. That was a poor choice, but yet it's going to be all right. I'm still here for you. I love you. And I respect you for the things that you've gone through. Because some of the things that I've gone through, she said that she's not sure that she would have been still standing. But yet I saw, I've seen the strength in her when she's had her losses. I've seen the strength in her when her sons did things that were inappropriate. But yet she was always that rock, that lighthouse, guiding me in from tumultuous and treacherous storms that I endured. I know I started off not saying who, I know I started off eventually saying she and who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my foster mother who recently has died, has passed, has moved on. All I can say is that your memory is alive within me every day, every day. You know, sometimes we would just talk about the weather. Sometimes we talk about Trump. Sometimes we even talk about events that happened in your area. Or merely sometimes just going over the journey that we both have had together and apart. But mom, Billy Joe Morris, you live within me and I thank you. I'm not even sure, sure if I'll post this video or not, but I was just laying there this evening trying to rest and your essence, your spirit was so much on my mind and heart that I just had to get up and share. I don't even know how this is going to come out. I don't even know if this is going to help anyone else. We all, I guess to use this cliche, have our crosses to bear. But when you've only had that one true and real person in your life and they move on without you, it's a whole different world. And you struggle in the darkness of that loss and you struggle in the darkness of what in the heck, what in the hell do I do now? And I don't believe anyone has that answer.
Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I can say. So, I'm going to close this now and just tell everyone there's not one special person in your life that has been instrumental and monumental in you becoming the person that you are. Don't forget to call them. Don't forget to visit them. Because once they're in that box, it's too late. Thank you for um, spending a moment with me here darkness and just speaking from deep into my soul no script no thought out plan I just wanted to share this and yes this is dark but it is truth so this is Ben saying mom you've done well <laughs>